welcome Cavalier fans back to Coach's Corner. Uh, preview for uh, Week 13 and and a review, I guess, of, of Week 12 versus the uh, Chippewa Chips way up in, I guess, Wayne County, somewhere up there near Cleveland. So, um, you know, going into that game, we weren't really sure what we were getting ourselves into or what they were getting themselves into, I guess. And uh, we came away with a 49-21 uh, uh, victory, and, and the score was probably could have been a lot worse if, if uh, you know, we, we, if we would have left our starters in, uh, we took them out uh, uh, midway through the third quarter. So I don't know if that's fortunate or unfortunate. I guess fortunately because uh, no one got hurt and uh, we got some rest, and uh, so we got it. We got some good work in the first half and and uh, got got our guys out of there. But uh, you know, it's a little concerning that that we haven't played a full game here now, and and really since the Marion game. So you're not sure if that's if that's good or bad, but but I know this: our guys are really feeling healthy and they're feeling uh, refreshed and and they feel really good right now. So that, that that's a good sign. But um, really, hats off to uh, especially our offensive and defensive line from from uh, last Saturday night's game uh, on offense. Austin Klosterman is the center, along with uh, the two guards, um, Caleb Mayday and Blake Spangler, and then the two tackles, uh, senior Jared Post and and. Um, and junior uh, Nick Clooney did a great job on offense, uh, you know, just just protecting Brody when we passed and, and really on the run game uh, gave, gave us so many big holes. So that, that was awesome. And then the defensive line, which a couple of those guys are, are two-way guys, Austin Klosterman uh, plays defensive tackle along with Mitch Fullenkamp, who, who just had an outstanding game, three or four tackles for loss and, and a sack. And then Nick Clooney and um, – Nick Clooney plays both ways now as a junior and, and, and did a really, really good job. And then, then Andrew Schwederman is, is really playing great football. Uh, senior, uh, been a great leader for us, um, playing with a really a dislocated shoulder all season. And, and uh, he, just, he just wears a brace and tapes it up and, and, uh, and, and really has just fought through it the, the, the whole season and, and really played really well. So kudos to those, those, uh, those, those six, seven guys that have played outstanding these last three or four weeks and not really the whole season, but have gotten better and better and better as the year's gone on. And, and uh, hopefully that, that can uh, uh, be, be one of the differences again this week. So we go into week 13 uh, facing uh, Huron, the Huron Tigers, which we faced, I think, in, in 2005 and six or four and five, one of those two years. And uh, two good games. Uh, we, we won both of those, fortunately, but uh, in two good games. So good program. Coach Wright's, Coach Wright's old stomping ground. So um, they got a good program, good school system, so so it's a, it's a good matchup. Um, we we go into the game kind of kind of, and then everybody keeps talking about that we're a mirrored mirrored team with them. Uh, neither team is is overly huge, um, not a lot of really really big guys, but a lot of good athletes. And I guess the the marquee matchup is uh, is our quarterback Brody Hoyne versus their quarterback. Um, they both play quarterback, obviously, and they both play safety. They're both the punters, so very, very mirrored. Um, and, and they have a young man going to Toledo um, on, uh, as a receiver, I think, uh, next year, uh, being recruited as a receiver. So, uh, But very similar, um, guys that make lots of plays uh, when it really it shouldn't be a good play, and they make a, make a great play out of it. So that's, that's something to be, be concerned with, um, that, that uh, we, can, we can corral him, and, and we really have done a lot of work with the defensive line um, when they pass and he starts scrambling around to try to contain him and keep him in front of us and uh, inside of us. So, so, so we're really going to be concerned with that. And really on defense, uh, you know, they're, again, they're, they're like us physically. Um, they're very vanilla. Uh, they don't blitz a lot. They sit in their basic, basic defense and just play as opposed to us where we mix it up a lot and, and blitz a little bit. But uh, we'll see how much we do that uh, Saturday night. But Good matchup, the Huron Tigers versus versus our Cavaliers, and and hopefully I'm speaking again next week um, in, in a battle against either Wes Jeff, who we played, who we've played a couple times the last five or six years, and Hamlin Baden, who we've beaten two or three times over the over the years. So, so uh, hopefully we're moving on, and uh, good luck to our, our our Cavaliers, and thanks for watching.